Hi everyone, this is Diana, and today I'm going to be showing you how to run a PHP file on a web server, on a test server. Um, PHP is a scripting language used in a lot of web applications. It's used to connect the front end of the application to the back end. Um, it's really popular and it's really widely used, and it's a really good tool to have. So um, I'm going to be showing you how to use that today. The special thing about it is that it can't just be run right on the browser. You have to run it within either a real server or a test server. So today I'm going to show you how to install your own test server and um, upload a PHP file of your own so you can learn how to test PHP files. Um, so first I want to show you what a just raw HTML file looks like in a browser that you would write on your own. And I assume that if you are watching this and you want to learn more about PHP, you already know about HTML. Um, so what I'm going to do first is open up my favorite text editor. I'm using Windows 8. Um, and that happens to be Brackets. It's called Adobe Brackets, and it's a new text editor they just came out with, and it's kind of built for the web, um, doing things like HTML, CSS, PHP, JavaScript, because it has this cool live preview function that you can, um, you know, be typing things and have a change on the, on the web browser as you're doing it, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new file here. I'm going to just kind of call it test.html. And we're going to do our standard uh, HTML skeleton here, the doc type, and that's an HTML5 doc type there. Got our HTML tags. Do head. It's called testing HTML. I like things well formatted. One of those people. Body, we'll just say something very basic like, uh, hello. All right, so that's our HTML file. Very basic. Um, should load up just fine, so we're going to go ahead and save it. We're going to open it up in our web browser. So I have my default as Chrome. You can open it with whatever you like to use, if you like to use Firefox, or if you like to use Internet Explorer, or you know, Safari, or whatever you have on there. Um, so we're gonna open it in Chrome, and then as you can see, it just opens right up. It's uh, it's not on any kind of server, it's just on your local computer. It just says, hello, so to be expected. Um, nothing new here. So uh, we're gonna close that out, go back here. Um, if we wanted to put in some PHP into here, we can do that. You can embed your PHP within into your HTML. The tags that you're going to use for that are a uh, bracket with a question mark and then PHP. And then the closing tag is a question mark, close bracket. And um, so we're going to try to get the same output as we had with the HTML file. It's going to be um, hello. So we're going to use a PHP function called echo, which basically just gives you the same thing as you, as you put in. So it kind of repeats what you just said. So we're going to say echo double quotes, hello. And then, uh, PHP uses, um, semicolons to terminate just like Java would. Um, so then we're going to go ahead and save that. And one thing I want to mention is that any PHP will not, uh, will not run unless it has the extension as PHP. Like you can't just put PHP in here into an HTML file and run it and expect the, H the PHP to work because every file that includes PHP needs to have the extension PHP, no matter how much is in there, if it's one line or if it's the entire file. So we're gonna rename this. PHP. And then we're gonna try to load that up just like we did the other one. And nothing happens. So not really surprised here. That's uh, what we expected. PHP doesn't work unless it's on a, on a server. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, make this work using a test server. And one that I uh, prefer to use is called XAMPP. And it's a solution stack consisting of uh, five things. The, it's an acronym. So the X means cross-platform. So it's for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Um, the A means Apache HTTP server, which is the server that the that the site's going to be hosted on. The M is for MySQL, which is for the database. The first P is for PHP, and the second P is for Perl, which is another scripting language. So we're going to go ahead and look for XAMPP, spelled like that. Um, click on it, 
download for Windows or you could do Linux or OS uh, or a uh, Mac OS if you're doing that. I'm on Windows 8. It's going to go ahead and um, download. So we're going to wait till that downloads. that's good. We're going to do uh, run it like this. Say yes, we want to install it. It's going to load up. It's a pretty standard installer. Um, here's a warning message. You don't really need to worry about that. Um, you know, it takes you through the steps. You're going to want to install all of these. You may not use them all at first, but it's good to just have them there just in case. Um, and then you can install it wherever you want. I just chose my C drive because it's easy to find. Um, and then I already have it installed, so I'm not going to actually do it now. Um, but you're going to go ahead next and it'll install for you. And then when it's done, it'll pop up saying, you know, do you want to run the control panel? And so you'll say yes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my ZAMP control panel. So I'll go here. So it looks like this. And it has Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, which is for uploading to a server, Mercury, and Tomcat. So right now we're just going to use Apache which is the, uh, the HTTP server that we're going to use to run our PHP files. So we'll say start. When it's green, you know it's working. So then we're going to go back to our, uh, our PHP file here. Um, we have to save it within the ZAMP web server. It won't just work if it's outside floating around wherever. So I'll go to file, save as, and then I'll go to wherever I installed ZAMP, which for me is on my C drive. Go to ZAMP, and then um, you want to save it in the htdocs folder. So you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it test.php, but again, make sure it has that PHP extension or else it won't work. Um, so we're going to save it. You know, you can put it in a different, a different folder within htdocs, but it has to be in this htdocs folder. So we'll save. Go back to our, or our web browser here. Then we're going to type in, type in localhost which is kind of like a variable name for your local computer. It could be, uh, it's the same as typing in 127.0.0.1, which is um, the IP address of your local computer. I'm gonna do localhost slash test.php. So then we're gonna hit enter and there it is. It says, hello, that's exactly what we expected. And so now we know that the PHP is working on our test server. So now you know how to test your PHP um, code while you're developing, and then it'll be ready for a real server once you get one of those. So make sure to leave um, comments, questions about this tutorial, and as well as leaving suggestions for new ones. Thanks.